<laughs> well, hello, hello, and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Inheritance. New game. Let's see. Because we saw the perspective of uh, the father, the artist. Now we're going to say the point of view of someone who lived that through a, a child, traumatic when I was a child. child. Yeah. I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother. Rough. Scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. Damn. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Yeah, I like the premise. Sickness, insanity, and death were the angels that surrounded my cradle and they have followed me through my life. Ed Edward Munch. Oh, there's a famous painter, right? Oh, we have a flashlight this time. Right. Oh, this is the same entrance as the first game. But imagine you revisit your parents' house after, I don't know, two decades or something, and it's abandoned. That's creepy. I like it. I really like the lining and the color palette. A little bit unsaturated. Wow. Look at this. This is a real state of the house. Crazy. This is really cool. And I tried to explore to find notes and stuff about what happened, you know? So. Like this. My beloved, I've been thinking about what happened. I've been trying to understand. My dear, help me. I just don't understand. Why would you do it? Did you feel like there was no other way? Tell me, goddammit. What did I do to deserve this? I did my best. You know I did. I gave you everything. You selfish fucking whore. Why would you do this to us? Wow. Well, at least I'm glad in this sad story that the daughter is trying to be strong and overcome all these shitty childhood traumas. You know? Can I go to the kitchen? Man, this looks so cool. Water. No mirror. Workshop? Forbidden place. Oh, look at this. Looks I like. wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight? <clears throat> wow. One hour in this lot. <laughs> Good luck, guys.
Okay. When a drunk artist tries to make signs. Signs. Oh. What is happening? Are we having some flashback or something? What is this? We're painting with the crayons. What should I choose? Is a canvas or the brush? Does this matter? Are these choices? Do these choices matter? Oh, the summer trees, so green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Okay, I'm guessing we are in a flashback. We're living, reliving a flashback. What is this? Oh, I need to find the paints. The colors. <clears throat> this is very cool looking and creepy too. It's really weird how to depict. Are those the rats? How do you depict a dream or a memory, right? It's really hard because it's only in your mind, but you had to somehow express it in a visual way. Oh, maybe I had to put it on the painting each that each time I find one, because apparently it doesn't let you carry more than one. So more green. Brilliant. Let's add some more of the same color. That won't make it boring or predictable. Wow. Hey, Bob Bros here. It's painting some happy little trees here. Crayons on the wall. No, what? <laughs> Calm down, man. I got blue for this guy. Always start with the background. I learned that from Bob Bros. Let's put the oh, sky. They sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser. Just like you. What? What a fucking prick, man. Where do I want to put red, man? I don't want to be like you and put blood and shit dying all around like you did, you know? I don't like you, dad. Oh, man. Is there any more colors? Blue, red, green. Those are, are those the basic colors? Not really, right? Primary colors. Then the primary colors are like something out of the ordinary, like magenta, something weird, blue and green and yellow and something, right? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, yes. The autumn of life. When man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares. When the skies grow dark. Oh, this is new. Oh, we're in a different room. Should I pick up the crayons? This is black. Mm. I wonder if choices matter. Where is that taking me? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I don't think there's any other way, though. I feel if I take the crayons, it's gonna... I don't know, kind of reverse or evolve, devolve, that's the word. Oh, I can go this way too. Oh, there is yellow here. Ooh. She's starting to go crazy. I could go down the tunnel, but I kind of want to finish the painting, you know? I'm not going to hear criticism. Which part of dark skies did you not understand? Hey, freedom, creativity, some crops. I like it. I don't want to put dark, Dad. I'm gonna. Well, I want to put bright. Well, let's go this way. Maybe we find more beautiful colors. Oh. What is this? That just doesn't look too good. 
Ah, the music is very fucking creepy. Oh shit! They did, they are, they all did themselves, huh? <clears throat> they did a whole new creativity. Fucked up concept for this. Mom? Is that mother? Mother? Oh! The chef was trying to kill me. Wow, all the toys. What do I do? Push the ball? Push it, push it, push it. I'm sorry. What the? Try to push the ball. This is bad. I can't see shit. I don't want to drop it. I did it. What is this? Freaking tripping over here. Can I pick it up? Oh, there you go. Hmm. What was all that about? Yeah. But the thing is, this one is kind of dark too. It's the same as the one I saw there, right? Isn't it the same as this, as this one? I don't know. Let's try this. Let's see what the paint comes. I you see. In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit of rain. I don't see any bright colors, man. Let me look around. Doggo and your friend. Where am I going? More green? I already put green, but I can't put more. But let's look here. I never look here. Red. That's kind of more like... Oh shit, that's the first time I see the actual dog. Can the dog kill me? It's not a sound anymore. Okay, respect the dog I guess. Let's put this color. A wet rag won't do us any good, no matter what color it is. Shut up, Dad. Let me paint. Let's look for more colors and the ways I haven't explored yet. So, for example, this way. Man, this whole thing is like a... Am I safe? <laughs> oh, like a maze. We're going in circles. I think the dog was on that side, so I'm kind of scared.
Give me more colors. That one I already used. What if I... Oh, there, I see one more there. Yellow. Let's get that one. Don't die by the dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Everything is on fire. That scared the shit out of me, man. Can I, can I go back? I cannot return. Oh my goodness. Can I... Okay, okay, it's changing, I think. Hold on. Oh. Hey, I cannot go through there. Okay, okay, okay. Do I change the maze when I run around? What if I go back now? Yeah, this store is not here anymore. What is happening? How do I get out of here? Oh, this is this, this way. So... What? Okay, the fire is gone. Oh, man. Stop. I just want to paint. Let me finish my painting. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. That's right. The sun bestows yeah. its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally. No. Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy. But a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. That's your life, Dad, not mine. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. I can see that. Wow. Okay, let's go to the office. Can we enter the room where the mom paintings are? wrong with this thing what right lies 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 oh that's an encyclopedia page from the note we saw before oh this is open huh? look at this this is what the ending of the first game shows us so you can get this painting as an ending. And apparently you can never get it, right? Are you, I think you can also get this one. Because remember she got this figure. So I guess it was trying to capture her beautiful essence. Even if she didn't look like that anymore. What the f Well, and this is our room. Do I want to go in there? Sure. Hmm, that is very creepy. Wow. Oh, another memory. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me. And He's listen. painting us. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet. <clears throat> And yet, 
She felt that the evil witch was Princess! Keep looking at I'm not moving. Oh the camera, I'm just moving. So maybe I have to keep yeah. it. She felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. That is As not a very nice story, man. The darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move. For she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. Stop it. The monster slipped the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless. Try to fight the camera moves. The monster pass. Oh my goodness. <sighs> the princess remained motionless. Mm -hmm. Letting the monster pass. Eyes front, young lady. I'm looking at you. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hand was near just outside of you but our heroine didn't dare to look she had to keep her head straight lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic she could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck she felt a sudden urge to run away but fought it with all her will for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted and then just like that the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. Tried to find the, the movement. Was almost upon her. It was almost dark. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she. Poor child, man. Wait. That's not right. With those stories. Her face. Why is she still scared? No scare. Oh God. I didn't mean to... Princess... I am so sorry. Wow. Okay. That's an interesting... It's not that he was cruel. It's just that... To him... Reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world. Unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Is he has like kind of a... Lack of empathy, emotional uh, aware, uh, awkwardness. I don't know how to call it. But man, that is not a story for a child. That was a very interesting uh, story device, I guess you can call it. To make you keep your camera straightforward while all those effects play around you. That's kind of creepy. <clears throat> oh, baby face still on the wall. Uh, sure. Let's check the office. Oh, look at the fun. Here we go again. Oh, we're small. We're little. We don't know the name of the daughter, right? Little princess. Ah, oh. <laughs> this is uh, what is to be a baby. To look, everything is so tall. <laughs> look at the canvas. It's very interesting. Mom and dad. Oh, I have to choose a path. Ooh. I have to choose a path, guys. The canvas or the piano. I want to get out of this house. Let's go with mom to know her more because we know more about that. So, and he's got kind of a prick, too. 
Let's see if mommy loves us. Oh man, this is so weird. Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. Not afraid. Don't bite. Here, try for yourself. Do, do, do. No, no, that, that's not quite right. Mom! Now play that. Oh, that's, this is how she sees the music shit. Wait, maybe I need to play a... something. Maybe it's a puzzle. Maybe I need to play the notes in a particular order. But which one? Hmm. Is there any way to know? What notes to play? I am not from there. Huh, still not quite there. What do I do? Is there any way to know? Play that. You know what? I have an idea. Go get your crayons. Mm. <laughs> Do I need to go back? Oh, it's locked. Where are my crayons? Oh, here. E. What do I do with them? Oh. Okay. How? Oh, thank you, mommy. Okay. Let's see. Square, circle, heart, square. I guess we can do. like talent runs in the family nice whoa can I go back okay maybe now we go to the other side This is trippy, man. Say. I gonna search too tall. What is that noise? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Fucking hell. Bro. <laughs> uh. Keep your composure. We got this. Oh, the wheelchair. So the wheelchair was for mommy, actually. After the accident. Holy. Holy. 
music. Should I go for that now? Okay. So one of the dolls or myself? Uh, I guess that way is blocked. Yeah, this looks a bit more friendly. I appreciate that. What is this? Canvas? Toys? What do I do here? Hello, the flash yet. Oh, oh. What time is it? Painting, 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 crying, sleeping, hiding, crying, painting. What the fuck, man? Should I memorize this somehow? I'm gonna take a screenshot just in case. Thank you. I guess that's that when he's drunk and gets super evil. We're over rather far. I get a sandwich. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, my life is hell. I mean, I, I can't understand she feeling like this. Ow! Oh, hey, princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old peg knife. Oh, there, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just tired. So very tired. Seems nicer here. Yet not everything is the monster we saw in the first game. I guess it was like in decline. But at I guess at first it was actually a decent father. Everything went to shit. Man, this song is so... I don't know. Melancholic and sad and creepy. Jump. I wanna be tall. Hmm. What? What was that noise? I need to find something? They're letting me open a lot of stuff. Oh, I need to find the pieces. For the painting. Okay, okay, okay. Found one. What is that noise? Um... Back there, there was an upstairs. So let's go there, too. 
Wait, where did it go? This way? Where did I came from? Oh, I guess where I came from is blocked. Let's go up here. Maybe I find one more, more, one more of those pieces. I think there are different endings for this DLC too, but I don't know how you get them or what influence what ending you get. So just gonna go with the flow. See what happens, I guess. Hey, Paul. Give me the ball. Can I do something with this? Oh, found it. I got two out of three. Ah! Holy shit. What is this thing? I kind of want to go back. Oh, it's a loop. So I go this way and it should be downstairs now. Or maybe just the same way I came from. Am I going to end up in the same room? No. I mean... It's the same room, but it's different state. Okay, let's see. We need to find the last part. I do anything here? Put the part off. Or maybe I fit it. Oh, another part fell. I got it. I got them all. Now what? What do I do now? Maybe I put them over the top of this one? Fix it. You fix mommy face. I don't know what to do. Just go down again. Maybe something will be different. I'm not sure. No, this is different. Completely different. Oh, it's so dark, man. I want my flashlight back. Hmm. Wow. I can't see anything, by the way. Is there anything I can do here? What? Oh, 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 oh. Aww. Little princess and the... That's the dog they had? I will not have those dogs around my kid. I'm sorry. And she can rip your face off. Okay, is there anything here? What if I hide inside? I can't. It's so dark. Will I increase the brightness or something? Like, oh, I can also go behind? No, I can't. Well, in that case, let's go upstairs. Instead of downstairs. Let's try something different.
Uh, let's go upstairs because I don't know what to do here. Dun, dun, dun. This is different from the main game. Like, sure has some scares, but it's taking a little more patience. Oh, oh, hey there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right. You can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, Oof. she does to me. Oof. That's beautiful in that way. That's very beautiful. Wow. That's what she looks to me. That means he's still in love with her and... I mean, I guess he's delusional. High levels of copium there. At the same time, he's trying to keep. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was supposed to have an audition for a student film, but it got rearranged. But I did rap on my first speaking part in an indie horror film at the weekend. It was a lot of fun. What? That's so cool. How is that, oh, man? Is that a makeup? Can I see you in the makeup? That's very cool. So you do. So it's like more. It's more like voice acting, or more like you serve act, or you just practicing the speak the dialogue part of the of the uh, of this scene. Oh, that's locked. John, yo, yo. Uh, I don't want to break the vessel. Should I pull it? Oh, my. That is going to be mad at me. But, but. What if the vessel has the key for this? You know what? I'm a bad evil princess. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But now they're going to be mad at me. Oh! Freaking flies. Uh, what the fuck? So she's painting now. Wait. No, 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 no. This looks like her painting, and then the dad put something on top, or maybe she complimented the drawing later on. I think the dad put this wolf's eating Bambi. Yeah. Wow. It's on my Instagram. I was an emotional character, so they basically smudge all my makeup. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna check your Instagram later to see. Look at you go. That's so. I wish you the best of luck with that project. Um, we had to choose path again. Um, I choose you, mommy. It's very interesting. I wonder in what degree this reflects each player shall hold, you know, what you choose. Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> Where are we? What the hell is this place? This looks a lot darker than before. Oh, platforming. Yikes. Everything is like leaning towards me. It's like oppressive environment. Who's laughing? A glimpse into the future. Holy. Ah, uh, running in my mind, guys. Kyron. Oh, this is like uh, the, the 3D projecting thing, right? Wow. That is super cool. This is, I'm having, this must be the same effect 
as when cinema was created and the first people assist to the first projection like that mind blow of like the things appearing on the screen on motion that seems on that level like imagine what cinema is gonna be in like a hundred years or two hundred years you know with like nowadays we have 3d cinema imagine what new technology is gonna be in the future where you can just pop a movie or something new effects and shit Potential hazards. This is like the AI problem we have it now. Where things can get out of control with that regulation. Yep. Look at that question at the end. If there comes a time when we are unable to distinguish between reality and fiction is how will that affect us as society well wow, it's very deep i like it here in this channel we play intellectual games guys i didn't understand how the words in that paper but yeah i'm gonna pretend i'm smart let's go how's your year been so far it's been very good thank you for asking and yours seems to be going very well too No, no, no. I guess VR might uh, become bigger, so it's more immersive to the picture for sure. But that, that's a problem, right? Like, so many dystopian movies and comics and <laughs> creations in general have uh, pointed out we're going to reach a point where everyone is going to have a screen and we're going to live in, not in the reality, we're going to live in the virtual world. That's scary. Happy birthday to you. Three years old. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. What's my name? Say my name. Three years old. Okay. Not too bad yet. Happy birthday, Quasar. That's my name. Panda. What the fuck? Apples. What do I do here? I need to move this, I guess. Yeah. Coming for you. Give me the ball. Do I need to make a stairs with this? Yeah. How do I get up there? Oh! Got it. Oh, shit. What the... Oh. This is how it traverses my house. Floor is lava. Can I walk? I have to climb around the, the wardrobes and the closets and shit. Oh, another birthday. Five years old. Are you out of your mind? What? You said there was going to be a party. I just started a bit early. Wow. Oops. Okay, we can see how everything is deteriorating. So by, way, by when she was five, dad was already alcoholic. Imagine getting drunk on your daughter's birthday, man. That's fucked. That's... Oh! But uh, basically, Joey, to give you some context, in the main game, we see the, the main character is the father, the artist. Layers of fear. Yeah? So everything evolves, all involves his vision, his experience during that period of time. How it was a uh, how I, I want to tell you much because you're gonna play the game eventually maybe. But basically, in the DLC, this one we are playing as the daughter returning to the same house some years later. She's like an adult. She's like twenty or thirty. 
and she's is like going back to your parents' house after a very traumatic childhood, and kind of uh, yeah, I don't know, reliving, having flashbacks and stuff. So that's what's happening now. You were running the opposite direction. They are my dolls. My dolls are trying to guide me. Oh, maybe not. They're trying to guide me. <laughs> this very thing. I'm not sure if I have, I have, if I have balance. Walk the plank. Walk the plank. Walk the plank. Camera, stop moving. Oh, I made it. One, two, three, four, seven. Eight. This one's gonna be perfect. Bro. It the first skate was so nice, and this one is shit. Wrong. All of you. What? Not not now, Princess. Go play with your downies or your crayons. Daddy's very busy. You're neglecting your daughter on her birthday because you're focused on making the cake. Cuckoo! Hello! Hey, what is happening? Let me out. <sighs> Sounds interesting. It's very good comp set. And I think Bluebird game made very well with the first layers of fear. A lot of creativity put into this. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, let's go! Is that a wolf? This reminds me of when dad painted the, the red little hood thingy. What is that storytell call? And she was like eating the the grandmommy. The, the granny. It looks exactly that that shape. And it's look it looks like a shadow, so I'm turning. But it's actually a painting, not a shadow. Little right right in the hood, that one. Hold your breath. I'm guessing this is like day after day after day of being traumatized and crying your fucking eyes out. And your freaking dog. Bro, why would you have a door, man? I don't know. I I know some people think uh, certain breeds of, of uh, dogs are not dangerous, blah, 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 but I think they are. Just by statistics, okay? By statistics, I'll just have a normal, chill dog than one of those uh, aggressive... Uh, you know what I mean? There is like two or three breeds of dogs that have more attacks uh, recorded, right? So, yeah, I will not have that one. Especially having a child in my house. What the hell did you do? Oh, you didn't mean to. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Go on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and smash them one by one. And keep at it. Maybe you'll finally get good at something. Wow. Oh. I think at this point, if you're a child, your brain goes into defensive mode and you try to cope in any way you can and just detach yourself from whatever you're living and you become desensitized or you become like numb because you would rather not feel anything that just feel constant pain, right? So, yeah. Why would you have a child? You're not going to love the man. But I guess you cannot guess the future and life can go to shit sometimes, but still, man. No excuse for that. Okay, I can go that way. Or I can go this way. Huh. 
Okay, this is my my little safe place. My safe room where nothing can hurt me. The dad's an asshole. Yeah. Missing cat. Mr. Scooter. Reward all my dollies. Contact at. Oh, that's good. Chill, bro. <clears throat> but yeah, you can see how he was nice at first, and then as the years went by, he became he. he... Yeah, I don't want to say too much because you should play the game to know. It's not too long. The main game took me like four or five hours. I really recommend it. <clears throat> what is that thing up there? Ooh, I can reach it. Can I climb this? Let's go. I feel like a cat, you know? You know when cats start climbing all shit around your house? Couch, tables, everything. And then you end up seeing them on the top of the shelf. <laughs> That's me. Oh my goodness. Why you this to me, game? But where do I go from here? This is the only option. Oh. oh I got a... A cog wheel. What is this for? I'll give it a go sometime. Yeah. Are you doing RE2 Remake still? Or you finished it? Oh, what is this? Wait, what? Can I open this? Let me... Let me go back down one moment. There was a... Let's explore this. Oh! It's missing a wheel. Ah, uh, 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 I'm gonna fix you. Little friend. Ah, oh, you have a tail now. There you go. Now you can walk again. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, we need to cat get you. That's the that's what we need. To fix it. Okay, 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 okay. I finished Leon A and I'll probably work through the other scenarios next. Okay. Claire B. Cannon is... Where did that thing go? I lost it. Uh-oh. Does that mean I cannot do it anymore? I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't check this. How do I get that, though? It's... I cannot reach that. It's too far. Maybe I missed up already. Maybe this is like an optional puzzle and I cannot do it anymore because... Or maybe I can get another... Ouch. But yeah, the canon is Claire A, Leon B, but to be honest, I, I also played Leon A, Claire B. So, I learned that afterwards. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe this one works. But I think it's going to be that one. But how do I reach that? Can I move the plank? No. How do I climb that? Okay, let's try it. Maybe this one works. This one seems more round. Kitty and Kami. Man, when you're a child and you have toys, that works, right? No? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna find you a wheel. I'm not sure how, though. I'm honest with you. Ooh. Happy little family. Uh what the fuck, man? The mother is also or maybe the mother is like screaming at the dad. Or or did she have to 
It should play a role too into the abuse, you can call it. My cat keeps looking over at the meows. <laughs> Maybe I can move this. No. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I don't know how to get that thing. It's too tall. Can I climb the shelf? Am I going to fall? Hmm. That sucks. What if I keep going? I don't think. I'm sorry. What do I do? Any ideas? Let's think. This is our brains. We have this cat, these stairs, this plank. I cannot take the plank or move them. There is something with the paintings. I can go up the table. But then here, how do I reach that? I cannot jump, I cannot do anything. Hmm. I don't know. Can I reach it from here? Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Yes. I got it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna fix you, Mr. Meow. Mr. Scooter. Ah, he happy now. Yeah. Oh, we need to go in the light with the cat or we will die. That's why I tried to pog to progress and the game was like, nope, don't keep going forward. You're going to die. So You're sick. You're insane. You're not thinking straight. The cat is got in our way. You're right. I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me. Well, excuse me if I've been too busy working my ass off trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Sure, you have time for both, man. <laughs> you call that work? Ooh. You, you lock yourself in there for hours. As a low blow. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Yes, look at your little kittens. I'm not. Sh I'm not um, uh, an an psychologist, uh, child psychologist expert, but I think when you have a a parent that is not physically present, you call that a physically absent, right? You're, when your dad is not there, let, let, maybe he's working away or he's traveling or he's shithead, always on the bar, or the mom too. Can happen with both. But then there is another thing that can happen that when the dad is when the dad or the mom is physically present but emotionally absent. That means they are physically living in your house with you as you grow up, but they are not you cannot have a talk with them about your emotions. You don't open up. So you never feel like yeah, you feel like the words emotionally uh Absent, basically. Uh, what do I do here? Go with the kittens? Can I crouch? Oh, we open this. Whoa. Back to the music. Hello, mom. What? Oh, that... that's all right, honey. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. 
You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Greedy Pie. Welcome. Going well. More oh. than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. So interesting seeing the perspective from the daughter, right? Because we get to know more. We didn't we didn't really get too much to know much from the from the main game. This is not the remake, this is the original. I'll have the remake. I already have the game, I'm not gonna rebuy it even though it has more content. But I like this one. Let's read this. Last Wheel and Testament. Holy shit. To my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they are worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you as I always have. Wow, this guy was filled with hatred. Except for to his daughter. I hope when I die, I'm in peace, you know? With myself and with everyone. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I love the OG. I haven't played the remake either. I don't think I ever played this DLC. How's it going so far? It's, it's very cool. So it's called Inheritance, right? And without giving too much away. Just from the first minute. You learn that you are coming back to the house from the original game. And you are playing as the daughter. Yeah. Uh, some years after, right? So, yeah. It's very cool. Because you're seeing the story through the child's perspective with all the trauma and sorrow, as you can see here. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's go to... Ooh, I, I just realized we never got to see this room. We never got to see this room in the original game. Are we going to see it in this one? Not sure. Let's check the bathroom. With a gramophone, of course. Huh. I don't remember that being there. Here we go again. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Man, you can feel the dread. Why like won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. Wow. She was saying that to me, by the way, to the daughter. That's a little bit mean, mom. But I think they imply the mother had some psychological problems. I'm not sure. I can tell. Yeah, it's not a jolly, but we're here for the drama, right? I like how you keep this scoring more and more as you go around the house. Yeah. But imagine. Imagine you go back to your childhood house or something after being there for like 20, 30 years. Each room, each room you visit is going to spark something in your brain, right? It's going to be like, oh, here, this, or a painting, or a couch, or a chair, or, you know, it's going to be like little moments that we, we keep with us. We carry our baggage. We're all carrying something. Well, time to play some music. Are you ready for the ballet dance, Joey? Here we go. Oh, it's not playing. 
she happy days so mom was in the bed she was on the closet the daughter ran and dad was like angie you're angie hey angie angie dad thank you thank you <laughs> yeah i'm very proud of that one what is this holy the darkness is coming out of this room what is this room Do I want to find out? Embrace yourself. Uh oh. I don't know what I expect. I got an achievement. Fun. A farewell note. A final will. What I found was an apology. Oh. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. That's beautiful. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house. A nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I really like her voice. I knew what I had to do. She's gonna burn the fucking house. Are you kidding me? What? I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. Wait, did I finish? This is an ending? I remember a lot more things happening. Forgive him. Oh, I forgot his father. That's something. That's personal evolve evolving. Just getting rid of something you've been carrying, something negative, you know. So she just burned the house. It's like burning your past in some sense, right? She's moving on. She's moving on. But there's no need to keep that hate for your father, who's no longer around just forget and forgive i cannot forget baby face but this beautiful this painting is beautiful it's like the innocence hey princess what have you got there oh she got a daughter too oh that's so lovely sweetie but why pink hey what i played this dlc five years ago or something and i remember one part that i haven't gone through so i don't know i don't know how you go through there or or don't but i'm happy i'm happy i did it there apparently there are different endings but this one is good ending because she she forgave his father and she moved on okay i take it you know that was cool that was cool that was cool okay I'm happy. Interesting. But now this this ending made me think of imagine like to be honest, most of the geniuses we have had through history take any category. The genius comes with some craziness. It comes with some weirdness, doesn't it? So I can see a lot of famous painters being like the dad of her. Is it worth it? I'm not sure. Is all the good art we have had worth all the trauma it cost from those crazy minds? <clears throat> there were multiple endings for the main game. Yeah, for the main game, I think I got the good ending. I got the ending when he paints his own portrait. And he's like, oh, I love it. It's perfect. And he puts it on a museum or something. That old quote about that li uh, the line between genius and insanity. Exactly. Yeah, there's a quote about that. Cannot recall it for sure, but 
the idea is we we all know the idea behind it. So yeah. yeah if you study biographies of famous uh, painters or musicians or whatever. Special thanks to Lauren Bolton, Roxy Garza, and Annabelle Balderas. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you study the biography of famous artists in general, a lot of them had very weird lives and troubles and yeah, a lot of uh, misery and yeah, not not very pretty, let's say. Let's put that as an example, Mozart. Like if you if you see Mozart's life, oof, big oof. And he died at 32 or 33, something crazy. Okay. I kind of missed <laughs> some disturbing signs. I kind of what would have liked to go that that part I like. It was like, uh, if I remember correctly, I only have a, a brief couple of flashbacks. It was like... A giant fake forest, like a toy forest or something. And there was a theater or something, some something to see the Red Riding Hood or a wall for something appearing. It was very scary. That part was really scary. That's why I remember it. <laughs> it's burning my mind. <laughs> Traumatized me. That is okay. We got this ending. I wonder how how you choose the different paths. How you get the different endings but this one is good i'm happy yeah a lot to we can talk uh, day and night about parenting and childhoods and trauma and nurturing i guess you don't get to choose where you're born but i'm glad the daughter got to choose to move on that's all i'm gonna say well, I'm gonna go to bed, guys. Thank you for watching. Greedy Pie, Joey Cat, and Veed, and everyone who's lurking. I'll catch you next time. Good night.